I'm going to talk a little bit about women's issues. Uh, I know a lot of it would seem to be none of my business as I am not a woman, but there are some things that I need to cover to clarify some statements that I've made. Um, first of all, one of the statements I made had to do with abortion. It's not really a woman's issue anymore. It is none of my business and I stay out of women's issues when it comes to that. But those aren't really women's issues right now. Uh, all of the states have managed to really inhibit uh, the ability of women to get abortions. You'll find out throughout the South, uh, women only usually have one, uh, one facility to go to where they can do planned parenting and, and uh, uh, that kind of thing and, and get a therapeutic abortion if, if they need one. Uh, and uh, those, those liberal states or progressive states where uh, they can do that, uh, they do. Um, the other issues, uh, such as partial birth abortion and stuff like that, I'm not going to talk about. What I am going to talk about is real women's issues. And those are the issues that most of the women that, uh, uh, or a great deal of the women that uh, women have voted into Congress do not address. Uh, in particular is a Senator Feinstein, who tends to vote against most of the real important women's issues. And what I mean by that is labor issues working people's issues, issues regarding taxes for uh, the middle class and lower middle class, which happen to be women. Uh, since women are now the majority of working people in the United States, uh, uh, labor issues and those kinds of issues are far more important to them. Uh, upper middle class issues regarding uh, uh, um, uh, abortion and, and uh, you know free speech issues and stuff like that aren't really necessarily the most important thing for women right now. Uh, what they need to do is focus more on the types of women they're putting into office and noticing that, uh, I'll give you a good example about Feinstein, if you recall when she was talking to Alito and Roberts about approving them for the highest court in the land, she made it very clear to them that she could not vote for them if they had any kind of stipulation in their minds or orated any kind of an opinion against abortion. Uh, she was very clear to let them know that she was happy to vote for them uh, so that they could do the kind of horrendous rulings that they've turned out to do regarding free speech issues, labor issues, and other things where they defer to corporate America or uh, the absolute power of the state. Uh, but that if they made any kind of comments or any kind of gesture that they were going to go after abortion rights, she would have to vote against them. Conveniently, her... Uh, for her, uh, they did not do so, and consequently, unfortunately for the rest of us, these two people have been approved for the Supreme Court. One, Alito, uh, was uh, a member of the Texas court system. I don't know about, I don't remember about Roberts, but I know that Alito is a member of the Tex was a member of the Texas court system, and unfortunately in Texas, they get to vote for their judges. The problem with that, I I as you might notice, is that popular wedge issues uh, tend to sweep them into particular judgeships uh, uh, within the state. And as a consequence of that, they tend to be a very low quality, uh, uh, they tend to be very low quality jurists who have a political sense about how to, uh, how to rule on matters and tend to uh, rule uh, toward the right on almost every issue, including wedge issues such as abortion issue, issues, etc. So uh, what's happening to our court system now is because it's been open to uh, these, these lower uh, uh, kind of bottom dwelling type judges that really don't, uh, don't have the expertise that they really need to be good Supreme Court jurists, uh, we're, we're ending up uh, doing this kind of right wing populist judge uh, acceptance thing. Um, this is very important for women um, uh, for many reasons having to do with their ability to petition their government, uh, having to do with their ability to get uh, leave, to get uh, proper medical care, to get proper attention directed at education for the children that they may get stuck supporting because their old man just ain't around anymore. Uh, so. Uh, I just want to, to clarify that a little bit when I talk about women's issues. I don't dismiss the idea of a, uh, abortion rights lightly or a woman's right to choose lightly, 
but I do think that uh, women need to wake up a little bit to the type of women they are putting into office and to look more closely at who they are and exactly what they're legislating for women's rights and for women's real women's issues. Uh, the abortion issue, abortion will, will never go away. The right uh, must understand and people who vote for right-wing causes because they hope that uh, the, their, uh, their Republican uh, uh, Congress member or Senator is ultimately going to get rid of abortion, it's, that will never happen. If that ever does happen, the Republicans will lose their ability to attract people for that very reason. Once that pro problem goes away, a lot of people will look at other issues to vote for, and therefore this, pro this will always be a carrot dangled in front of the right-winger uh, to get him to vote for uh, a particular right-wing uh, member of Congress. Um, so this should be very clear to any right-wingers who, uh, for whatever crazy reason, have decided to, to look at some of my opinions on my website here or on my YouTube site. Um, uh, I've been called a right winger by some people because I'm, you know, pro gun and all that stuff, and so maybe, maybe uh, you're not you're not going to pin me down one way or another on many of these issues. I've got my own opinion about them. They're not structured by the media. They're only structured by what I consider to be common sense. So you will never get abortion stricken from the courts. Uh, you will never get abortion to be illegal again wake up to that fact as well. You can get your states to restrict it, which they've done through most, especially the less progressive, more right-wing states, have restricted abortion to the point where poor people, it's almost absolutely impossible. It's almost impossible, excuse me for the absolutes, it's almost impossible for them to get an abortion nowadays. Um, and more about all that stuff later, but I just wanted to clarify those issues for right now. Bye now.